Today's recipe is cotton sponge cake. It turns out so soft and yummy that you guys will definitely love it. So let's get started. For this recipe, take 3 eggs, break it into two parts and separate the white part of the egg in one vessel and take the yolk in the other vessel. Now take the vessel that contains yolk and add half teaspoon of salt. Later add 1 tablespoon of sugar. Later 1 third cup of cooking oil and 1 third cup of milk and beat it well. Now add 1 tablespoon of lime juice and few drops of vanilla essence and again beat it well. Now take the vessel that contains egg white and beat it using a hand beater or an electric beater. When it turns foamy, add half cup of sugar out of the one third cup. Mix it well and later beat it again. When it turns creamish, add the remaining sugar. Later, mix it well and beat it again. Beat it until you get this creamy texture. Now, take 1 cup of maida, later add 1 tablespoon of corn flour, half teaspoon of baking soda and half teaspoon of baking powder. Take the vessel that contains the yolk batter and keep a strainer over it and now add the dry items and sieve it. Now give it a good mix. The batter has turned out little bit dry so Take 1 third cup of milk and add half of it and give it a good mix. Later add the remaining part of the milk and give it a good mix. The batter must be like this. It must not be so dry or not so watery. To this batter add the beaded white egg mixture and gently mix it. The batter must be flowy like this. Now for the preheating process, take a cooker, place a stand inside it and later close the lid. Add some oil or butter to the vessel and spread it evenly throughout the vessel. Then later pour the cake batter to it. Take a toothpick and turn it around like this and tap it to remove air bubbles if any. Preheating process is done so now let's place the vessel over the stand and now close the lid. Keep the flame at low and leave it to bake for 40 minutes. After 40 minutes, prick a toothpick at the center of the cake. If it comes out clean, then the cake is baked well. Move it out of the cooker and keep it aside to cool. After it has completely cooled, now loosen the edges of the cake with the help of a knife like this. And then turn it upside down on a plate. And here we go, cotton sponge cake is ready to serve. See how perfect the cake looks. It has turned out spongy, soft and also it tastes amazing. So you guys must give a try to this recipe. And also share your views and feedbacks in the comment section. If you loved today's recipe, then do like and share the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.